Hello and thanks for joining in. My name is Shaden and I'm with GMDev. In this video, we'll show you how to create a one-page website, one-page layout in Asteroid. Now, for those of you who don't know, Asteroid is a framework, templating framework for Joomla. And I'll not be going through the basic of, uh, basics of Asteroid. So we'll watch our other tutorials and uh, videos for more information on Asteroid. If and this is under the assumption you already have a Joomla website and Asteroid installed. Uh, two things we need to do. One, we need to create a menu which will point to the pages or the sections inside the page. And two, uh, identify those sections inside the layout manager. Uh, let's go ahead and create a menu real quick. We'll name this one page menu. All right. Uh, the next thing we do is we'll go ahead and add links to this menu. So we want to identify how many sections we'll have. So we'll create a Y section, which will scroll the user here. We'll create a mega menu section, which will scroll the user here. And we'll create a la latest news section. They'll go here and contact section. They'll go here. So four sections in total. Now, there is no limit. Again, I'm only doing this for demo. You can create as many as you wish. So a Y section. And this has to be system links and URL at all times. And we can just put it hash Y or number sign or pound sign. And save. We'll do save and new. The next one will be mega menu. As we said now again these can be anything we are just putting these here for demo and system links URL and again mega menu save and new and there's already a menu so we'll call it mega menu 2 now this is just a Jupyter problem where two menu items cannot have in the same alias just because that alias is used for link generation. So a simple solution is you can create a alias that's not the same. So mega menu two, three, four, uh, they'll fix it. Latest news. This is one and latest news two. We'll just create it in case it exists already. And we'll call it latest news. So this is the hash or the pound sign again. And the last one will do contact. Okay. Again, contact. Okay, so we have our menu done. Let's go in the asteroid template, refresh so the new menu appears. And now we can select our menu here. So our temp one page menu appears. We'll select it, save it, and you'll see the menu items would start displaying the new menu. All right. So why mega menu latest news contact? None of them are working at this moment just because we haven't configured the sections to point at these IDs. And let's go ahead and do that. So the Y would point to the Y section. The Y section is a second section in the layout manager. Now, normally you know where this is. And again, I'm not going through the basics of Asteroid, but it's uh, my assumption is it's probably this section. So I'm going to try to do that. And save. And once it works, I'll show you what I just did. Uh, it does work. Okay. So what we're doing is basically we are overriding the default ID of the section. Now that's how these anchor links work. You know, the hash Y or the hash uh, mega menu, they are looking for a section, uh, a HTML tag in the body of the page whose ID matches this particular and they're gonna take the user to that section. That's how simple it is. So all we gotta do now is give our appropriate sections these IDs and they'll start working. Uh, the next one is mega menu. So that's one below this. So we'll, if we did section one, I think that's section three. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. 
and next one is latest news which I think is this one content section so we'll do that too okay and last but not the least I think contact is section 5 so I'll we'll go ahead and do that as well all right and now if I refresh we should be able to see all of this here all right, so if I do contact, it scrolls here. Latest news comes here. Mega menu works. Why works? Now, uh, there's there's one mi missing piece here. You know, the scroll itself in, isn't that smooth. So, in the newer version of Asteroid, you have this feature where you can enable smooth scrolling within your page. So you enable smooth smooth scroll, and you put a speed in. I'll put 500. That that's a decent speed. This is under the basic settings, by the way. And I can do mega menu, scrolls, great, and great. You can play with the speed, you know, the higher the number, the slower it'll go. So, let me show you. And you can see it is quite slower. Okay. Now, one more thing. Sometimes you may have pages which are not part of the one page layout like this blog or whatever and you may want to add those too now there is a uh, code in asteroid that makes it works with those pages as well so go ahead and create a you know any other joomla url which is internal url to your website but you know nothing that links within the same page okay we'll go ahead and refresh the page and if I go back to blog, that works fine. And now I can also go back to contact. It'll take me to the same section on the home page, you know, which is where it's supposed to go. So, uh, and this is it. Yeah, this is how you configure one page layout in Asteroid. Thanks for watching.